hunter's chicken is a kind of a dish you want to serve for fall. This is the perfect time for it. It's earthy, deep in flavor, and so delicious. And it's all about mushrooms. So of course, if you can get the porcini mushrooms, that would be the must. If you have never experienced hunting mushrooms, you have missed something. It's so exciting. You could walk for an hour or two without finding anything. And all of a sudden, if you are lucky enough to find your first one, there will be others that congregate in the same area. Though, keep in mind that no one is going to tell you where to look for. So, for the brown stock, and I mean it, I want something full of flavor. I am going to prep some mirepoix, garlic, onions, leek, carrots, celery, uh, some mushroom trimmings, and some aromatics. Next, in a hot pot or Dutch oven, drizzle some uh, grapeseed oil or any other kind of high smoking point oil. Just avoid olive oil for now because the temperature is going to be quite high and sear well chicken backs, wings, necks, and the knobs on full blast until brown. Mon dieu que ça sent bon ici. It smells amazing. Once done, you want to remove some of the fat and throw in the mirepoix and cook on high heat. That should take about 15 minutes. And don't forget to season with salt. Then I'm gonna add my tomato paste and cook for an additional five minutes. Then throw in the seared chicken backs, wings, necks, and knobs. Add the veal stock and aromatics. Bring to a boil, cover, and let simmer for now. By the way, I have a video how to make veal stock and demi-glace. Though, if you don't have it, you can use beef stock or broth with a couple of bouillon cubes. Now, you want to discard all of the solids, sieve this beautiful stock, put back on the stove and skim off impurities and the fat. That's the glossy film that uh, rises on top. In the meantime, I am going to dredge uh, the thighs and the drumsticks in flour. Shake off excess flour and set aside. Next, I'm going to sear my uh, chicken legs, the thighs and the drumsticks on a red hot pan. And I meant it. Here is a good trick when searing the meat. Don't salt the side of the meat that is going to be seared first, but rather the pan. It creates a non-stick effect, and that applies for fish and eggs as well. About that, get a deep brown color. Make two batches. Once done, gather the meat and cook for 45 minutes in the oven. Not done yet. Transfer our meat onto a plate to rest. And of course, you want to save this delicious rendered juice and add it to the brown stock. Meanwhile, I am going to mince some shallots for what's coming next, the sauce chasseur, hunter's sauce. In the same pan you have cooked the chicken, I'm going to saute my mushrooms with butter on high heat for about eight minutes. Then I'm gonna throw in my shallots, season with salt and cook for an additional three minutes. Add some porcini powder if desired, then flambe with cognac or brandy. Be careful when you do that though. Then I'm going to deglaze with a Chardonnay. Reduce to two thirds and I'm gonna add some flour to thicken the sauce. That is called Saint-Gé. For a gluten-free dish, you gotta thicken the sauce afterwards by just adding some cornstarch diluted in water or wine. Add the hot brown stock, bring to a boil and put the meat back in. Season with more salt if needed and ground black pepper and cook on low for 30 minutes before serving. Garnish with chopped tarragon and parsley. I hope guys you have enjoyed this poulet chasseur hunter's chicken episode. To get the full recipe, go to brunoskitchen.net. Please subscribe, like my page on Facebook, and follow me on Twitter, Instagram, and Pinterest at Bruno Albuz. Bon appétit, and see you next time. It's too good to be true. Mamma mia.